Hi, I'm Kelly Holmes. I'm the publisher of the Cygnus Graphics Media Group, which includes the brands Quick Printing, Wide Format Imaging, and MyPrintResource.com for the overall commercial, sign, and digital marketplace. As a, a printer, you almost have to focus your marketing department on a cross-media approach to your own market. So the same business model that applies to quick printing and Cygnus Business Media as a national or international publisher applies to a printer on a local level. So a printer has to look at the cross-media ways that they can market and say, okay, how do I address that? Do I bring a marketing person on staff that can write for me, that can go out into the market and produce the content, push the content on my, on my website, you know, explain to my customers you know, what the depth of our knowledge base is and how we can help them. And, and interestingly enough, it's something that printers have been doing for a very long time, only I think the missing piece of the puzzle is the cross-media approach in many cases because many printers in the market have been sending out e-newsletters in print for a long time to their customers and it is a way that they can communicate their services and their opportunities that they can bring as, um, as not just a printer but we keep hearing this rebranding of a, what a printer is these days, right? And so the term is becoming a marketing service provider, right? Because a printer can be many things to their customers. It's just they need to look at their market, they need to look at their customer base, and they need to ask the right questions in growing their business and the profitability of their business. Maybe a printer brings on a marketing person and offers marketing services beyond just putting ink on paper to their clients. Maybe they can become a resource and a writer and um, follow a local marketplace because following a national marketplace and following a local marketplace are two very different things. There are issues that cross and there are subjects that cross the two, but at the end of the day, what's happening in a local marketplace, say in Coho's New York, and what's happening in a local marketplace in Port St. Lucie, Florida might not be the same thing. So what you want to do is make sure that you specialize in those areas and that you have those relationships built. And local publications can help in that respect. I mean, you know, maybe it is you go out to a local magazine that's already producing content for your area and form a partnership with them. You know, ask them, is there any way I can license your content so that I can also deliver the value that you're delivering or work with them in a way that they can create the content if you don't have that specialty and figure out a way to deliver that to the market. So the web has opened up all of these interesting possibilities that we, as business people, we now need to sit back and figure out how we're going to be addressing that.